What is up guys, my name is Depth and welcome back to some more GTA 5 Online Racing and... Man, I was expecting him to have a custom vehicle, he's like twice my level. And yes, there is only one person in this race besides me, it is a mano a mano and I'm gonna avoid the turbo start. Because it took me so long just to get a, like, a single person to even stay in the lobby. I was, I'm just ugh, so tired of waiting. I just wanted to play. And since this guy was a high enough level and his, uh, his record was pretty nice, I thought, hey, you know, he's, he's not a total noob. He's not going to be a complete pushover. So you know what? Fine. Let's do a little one-on-one -on -one action. And, uh, surprisingly enough, he's staying ahead of me pretty well, despite, uh, having just a completely naked car and me having a fully customized, fully upgraded one of the same, same vehicle. But, anyway, this should be interesting. He's holding down the fort, but he's gonna have to hold it down for quite a while longer. But anyway, yeah, man, ugh, I hope, I hope next gen is, has not died out nearly as freaking much as <laughs> the consoles that this game was originally released on being PS3 and Xbox 360 because holy crap holy crap is racing just dead oh dear racing is just dead it's so hard to find anyone to race with it's painful and um, I do have a PS4 now I have uh, I have upgraded per se though I don't have any games for it yet aside from uh, the one that came with it, which is Battlefront, which is going to be awesome to play. I've been waiting for Battlefront since, you know, Battlefront 2. <laughs> and, um, it should be really awesome, but I've just been a little too lazy to set things up. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm totally satisfied with my PS3, but I uh, definitely want to be... Uh, Moving on up to some point. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, find a way to have them close together so when I want to switch consoles it's not a very long or arduous process. Because that's, uh, that's one reason that I have yet to set things up. Because I'm like, I don't, I mean, I'm definitely going to be switching all over the place. Because PS3, I have all, all my games are for PS3. And that's where I don't, I don't, nobody else I know has a PS4. So... I'm definitely going to be switching quite a bit. I don't want it to be super tedious and annoying. Because <laughs> uh, although I don't, I, I can be lazy in some regards. I like to think that I'm not not the laziest mofo out there, but <laughs> it's definitely something that I look at as uh, as work that I don't want to deal with. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, here we are. On PS3. Hopefully we can find some more people to play with later on. You know, like after this race, hopefully I can get some more people in. I mean, it wasn't so much the uh, the trouble of uh, getting people to join, it was so much as keeping them. Everyone was just leaving the instant they joined. Nobody wanted to wait 30 seconds for the game to start. And I know they're going to be impatient uh, people with, you know, six second tension spans regardless of what console, but that uh, doesn't make it any less disappointing. Yeah, here we are. I'm using the uh, recommended vehicle for this track. My own custom shaft. Not, what am I saying? Shafter? No, this is the Warner. And uh, I've, I've had one. I just, it just hasn't really gotten its time to shine, because uh, what I have it for is it's kind of my uh, off-road sedan. As you see, it's got the off-road tires. And it, um, yeah, I pretty much have it for like off road races. All my other sedans have street tires. That's uh, something that I have for each uh, class of vehicles. I always have like a, uh, a street vehicle for that class and then an off road vehicle for that class, depending on the sort of terrain we're dealing with. And also, uh, depending on the sort of track it is. Like uh, the shafter here doesn't have the highest top speed, but it's got some awesome acceleration and it's got a uh, good handling very uh, sensitive which I personally like I like it when a vehicle can take t uh, tight turns which is you know sort of what I would need for a track like this 
And so uh, I sort of have like a, uh, with each class, not only do I, have, do I have one off road and one street, but I've also typically got one that's got like good acceleration, but not the best top speed, and then one that's got like good top speed, but doesn't accelerate the fastest, or, you know, just to get a variety so I can have a good a wide range of vehicles to choose from for each race. And oh, he's got the Glendale. I thought he had the Warrener. I mean, the two do look quite similar, but man, I'm kind of surprised he kept up with me so well. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of GTA 5 Online Racing. Hopefully we have more luck in the future and can get more people to race with. Um, I've definitely, I mean, I've gotten a good deal of people to play with me lately. Like yesterday, I was playing on my own and got some uh, decent-sized lobbies. So hopefully that will, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some of that luck when recording for this series. And uh, hope you guys didn't mind this only being a mano a mano. I mean, he he was uh, quite the opponent. Certainly um, gave me a bit of a run for my money. But anyway, I'll be seeing you guys uh, until next time. I'll be seeing you guys later. <laughs> I'm out.